Speaking of strange, Ian, I returned to the flea market slash swap me for the first time, I want to say about three and a half months. Did you throw a little confetti when you walked in? <laughs> little party favors? <laughs> I miss the party favors. They, 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 they spring out. Um, I don't go to the flea market as often as I used to for a variety of reasons, which I've, I've, I've told people on Twitter. Um, there's, there's, there's less to find. I don't have the energy to go as much anymore. I was doing one or two a week for like seven years. Um, and, and flea markets overall for 20 years. Got to eat your grape nuts, man. Yes. Grape nuts. Neither grapes nor nuts. What, what's the deal with grape nuts? Um, <laughs> I have so much shit already. And I want to enjoy, I want a little more balance of like enjoying life now that I'm like 85 years old, you know, so I, I want, I want to, you know, so all these factors, I still do I still like going out there and, and finding stuff. Stop and smell the ARP coffee. If, 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 if the swap meet started at like say nine o'clock, I'd be more apt to go because 7am getting there when all the deals are still there and stuff is there. That's a little tougher, but I hadn't gone since probably, I want to say May, probably May or, or late April. So like we're talking like three months, three and a half months. Uh, so I, I go to, I get up at eight o'clock, which is already past due getting to the swap meet. I don't get there till, till about eight 30. I don't eat breakfast anymore. So it was a lot easier to just brush my teeth real quickly, grab some water, grab my ugly backpack and go. And I will say it's probably also because I don't go, even when I went the last time in April or so I hadn't, that was like probably two or three months since I went the last time before. So now I'm only going like almost once a quarter, which sounds weird. I'll get back to probably like once a month at least at some point. But when I went to the, to the flea market at 8.30, I can honestly say it felt different, not just for the time, just from the last times I've been going. It felt like the mood had changed. And I'm not trying to start a, like some sort of weird craze or anything. It's just my flea market. But it felt like it was a little more casual in a way. I did not see as much of the normal people that I usually had seen that are hunting like in the hunt for things that goes for not just people looking for retro games that went for people looking for like records uh people that are scanning for like dvds and cds at least the ones the guys i usually see didn't see them uh guys that are looking for toy stuff you do still see people doing that i'm just saying it seemed like it was more of a hushed environment and i know this because also because when i went at 8 30 and i was there probably till like 11 i still found good deals that i should not have found there in my opinion, that I don't think would have been there before. So I found um, I found about nine old PC games. I don't know if you saw me tweet yeah. that out from the late 80s. I got those nine PC games for like $30. I'm not saying there's a huge PC gamer market, but I was surprised I found those there still. Still, someone would have probably got at least the, the Madden. That's the first Madden game is cool to have that. I've yeah. always liked the original cover for Test Drive. Yes, yeah, so you would think that someone would at least pick those up for like five bucks each. Why not? The fact that I found it, I didn't buy it. I was tempted. I, N64 working fine with a controller and Mario Kart 64 for like 50 bucks. That's a pretty good deal, especially at a flea market. Yeah. That's a pretty good deal. You're basically getting a, a $30 N64 or $25 N64. What does N64 Mario N64 go for? Like 20 bucks still? No. Mario Kart 64 sells easily for 30 35 Okay. That's an awesome deal then. Yeah. That's, no, it's a, it was a damn good deal. So, okay. I should have bought it and flipped it. But anyway. So anyway. So the whole point is that was still there. No one had bought that. Someone should have bought that in the past that would have been gone from a reseller or a collector would have gotten that or someone to flip it that was still there other stuff was still there and not killer deals but there was like a stack of n64 games and it was castlevania and a couple other ones that were pretty good ones not just garbage fillers and yeah the guy wanted like 15 20 each from but i'm sure that he could someone could have wheeled them down if they got all of them Absolutely. that was that was still there if those had been sitting there since the, that morning that was still there. And that guy, and that seller is usually there on Saturday too. So I, I, I just pieced these things together. One guy had Transformer stuff. Um, he wasn't asking. They weren't dirt cheap. But the one guy had a full set of the uh, Constructicons sitting there, and he knew what they were. But he wasn't asking like a huge, huge amount. Someone should have at least, I thought, gotten those, even if they weren't getting a killer deal. Saying, "Oh, Transformers figures. You don't see them." And there were others. So the whole vibe was weird. I didn't see. Um, I'd say the peak was like three years ago when I when I t tell you I go I see groups of like three guys to go on together and I see like eight different guys who are collectors uh, walking around looking for stuff and four or five years ago when you'd have the peak of like six or seven sellers there I'd say six was the biggest I saw when you have six sellers selling all the same games the games ogre on his chariot yes sure 
inside joke. But anyway, so um, that was not there. Yes, you had you had uh, good old Wario selling stuff, and it's shrinking year by year with Wario. I feel bad now that he's selling like audio equipment on the side, trying to sell like a keyboard and like pedals. It's kind of sad in a way. I asked him how much Zombies uh, eight, uh, Neighbors was in Super Nintendo. He said like sixty bucks. So oh, he still has, you know, he's still pricing stuff to, uh, to the moon. But anyway, so <laughs> sixty dollars. Yeah, what does that go for now? It's thirty-five. Yeah, exactly. So some things never change. The whole point is this: thirty. I I think there's a weird inflection point now that we we we, we, we kind of discussed this before, where everyone became aware of these prices with smartphones and everything. We'll say 2011, 2012. People became aware of this stuff. Uh, and there were more sellers I got in 2011, 2012. It kind of went up exponentially at that point, uh, in my opinion. They all rushed to the flea market. Sellers knew. Prices went up. Then, but I think prices got too high at the fucking flea market that sellers like me were like, okay, I'm not going to get that great deal anymore. I'm not going to get the garbage bag of games for 20 bucks. So we stopped going as much. Sellers then have less people to sell to. And they're holding on to the same stuff. And maybe they realize that the it's sort of... Uh, cooled off a little bit and in retro game collecting there has been a cool off in some systems especially nes to begin with there has been a general cool off so all these factors together it creates a perfect storm of there's less interest in the flea market prices either might go down or sellers might be forced to price their stuff lower and just less interest overall at least at the flea market it might have gotten to that weird point no, I think maybe we did. again this is one visit but i'm just saying i was surprised i still found that stuff there at later in the morning I think we've gotten there. I think we probably did about a year ago. A <clears throat> couple indicators at the store. Um, one major one simply being just people outright saying it. A lot of people I know don't go to the flea market anymore. They don't bother. No, they don't bother. It's not worth their time. Um, and it's not just you, but it, it's it's 100%. It's not worth their time. Um, everyone who used to go to the flea market who comes into the store... Almost everyone, um, including a lot of our regulars, just don't go anymore. If they do, it's very infrequent. Um, a lot of them said they haven't been in, you know, a year or so. They don't go because they don't expect to find anything. Um, sure. You know, a, you know, that's what they would say maybe a year ago. Probably because in the year prior to that, they got burned out of going to the flea market and finding nothing. Or finding shit in halfway decent shape with a, an insane price tag slapped on it. And yeah, it just caused a lot of people to trickle out and um, <clears throat> no one goes. You know, a lot of people who go to the flea market now aren't looking for video games. They're looking for other stuff, just anything, anything else. But all the things that people used to try to go to the flea market for, video games, records, movies, things of that nature, people don't search for that anymore I, I i don't feel like if you're going to be paying those sorts of prices i think the common the common theme is well we'll just go to the stores that sell that stuff because at least then we're not rooting through and you know we're, we don't have to we don't have to put in all the effort just to pay the prices we're yes. going to pay anywhere else i yeah, think that's what it came to time is money. money why am i getting up i always said why am i getting up freaking 6 30 in the morning to pay ebay prices are slightly below it doesn't make any sense no it doesn't, it doesn't. It, it, especially because oh. it's not like it's all presented to you in a clean easy tidy you know no. shopping fashion it's not there's there's no thrill to the hunt when what you're finding is you know the same thing you could have gone to the store and found in two minutes and again your mileage may vary you might be in, in new jersey or in south carolina or wyoming and be like oh my flea market's still still weird or great i'm just telling you this is the vibe around where I'm at, and this is a very busy flea marketing area, and this is where the the behavior I've seen at the flea market has pretty much mirrored the retro gaming trends that I've seen, and I've been here nine years. They mirrored them almost exactly. The fact that there there was only there was not more than one video game seller is weird because when I first came here in 2009, there was two then two major game sellers are always there. And then you had the small ones pop up. And there was, like I said, again, there was times where there was four or five game sellers that would be there every week for a while. And the fact that I see one there, and he's the original guy that we all know and love in the San Diego area, the fact that it was just him was kind of striking to me. That's all. The other um, thing that I've noticed through work is we used to have a number, eh, probably we had a handful of these people, and, and it wasn't always the same people. They would change. But we always had probably three to five people would come in on the weekends they were the hardcore um they were the hardcore uh, flea market goers and they would be the ones who'd really dive for 
you know, the deals, anything that, and, and they knew the store, they knew what we'd pay good credit on, and they would always find the stuff that they could get for cheap, and then they would trade that stuff in that they didn't need to the store for credit any, after. Any system. Yeah, any system. Know. So they would look at the flea market for stuff that they wanted for themselves, and then they would also pick up stuff that was cheap enough that they knew that they could trade into Luna for more credit to then get stuff that they wanted at Luna. Sure. So these were people who were really, you know, figuring out the best way to make the most out of anything they found at the flea market. And uh, we haven't seen stuff like that in forever. Those which, guys aren't around anymore. Yeah, those guys aren't around anymore. You can't, you can't do that anymore. You can't make it... Worth your time. You can't make it happen. Um, I remember the, one of the last guys who was doing that and I, I used to like all those guys. They were all really, really nice, very, very, very kind, very easygoing on that sort of stuff. Um, but one of the guys who was who stopped coming in about six months ago and only started maybe trying to do it about a year, year and a half ago, would come in with these N64 games, and he'd try to you know sell them or get them for credit, and. You know, even when I'd offer him, you know, good credit on a game, he'd be like, you know, what can I get for this Super Mario 64? And I'm like, well, I'll give you, or this, uh, yeah, Super Mario 64. And I'd be like, I can give you 20 in credit for it. He's like, well, I paid 20 bucks for it. I'm like, okay, well, I can give you 20 in credit for it. Like, if, you know, these people don't want to realize that, okay, if your scheme is not making you any money or profit then it's not my fault but it's time for you to move on to something yeah. else like you can't be paying the these exorbitant prices at a flea market if it's, you're getting it for three or five dollars that's one thing yeah you yeah. can't you know i mean the, the so, they're, so they're buying into the system they're adding to the system right they're they're, they're creating the bad. problem screw you guys for uh, doing that a lot all the other ones that i, I dealt with for years Weak. they were taking advantage of that system yes but you know you know they knew to get out when it wasn't going to behoove them anymore i i, I can't help you man if if, if you're gonna buy you're overspending to yeah, sell if you're overspending to sell that's not my problem i i, think funny. I, 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 I can't help you on that you should have negotiated better and know what the value is and the traded value of something is right yeah I, I, it's it's a weird spot because now i'm like well if it, if it retracts back enough does that mean then the deals might come again i think oh, that's what i was gonna say so yeah. but i have recent sorry to bring that around and i think it, it goes back to what you're saying i have had some people state that they've gone back to the flea markets here or there recently and they have they've picked up some good ps2 titles for a lot cheaper than they should have or they've found a couple good snes titles or you know mm -hmm. things like this they've seen stuff later in the day or stuff that they would not expect to be there laying around like you saw so maybe people maybe are starting even to push some bit. of this stuff a little bit back out at a lower price or maybe they're more willing to negotiate and you you still have the sellers that have something like I saw a Vectrex out there for two twenty five, and um, nothing like buying a Vectrex for two twenty five on a dirty lot. Well, I, I knew this seller. He's a guy that I've known since sure. I first came here. But I mean, is that even a good deal? I don't know if that's a good deal. Vectrex is over the place. Uh, two twenty five. Well, that's it's good according to eBay a little bit. But you know, I don't know if we're going to get back. Even if there's a retraction, I don't think we're going to get back to the, to like I bought a Vectrex. I bought two Vectrexes at the flea market since I've been here. The average price of both was probably like 40 bucks. I think one I got for 20, one I got for like 40, one that was like indented in, it was like, you know what I mean? It was pushing the monitor. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know if we're gonna get back to those. We, we, you might a little bit depending on the product. But I think overall though, the, the sale days are still over, but I think the, the, the tempering of the fad of physical retro game collecting, once it tapers off, and I think it has been uh, for a decent amount, I think you might, have sellers be a little more you know because they know who's out there they see the the, the crowds we do they know that okay there's less people that are hunting for this stuff i just got to get rid of it for money or put it on amazon or ebay and not bring it either way yeah you know, but we might be coming there more sooner or later and then at that point you know maybe then i'll find another 20 dollar vectrex maybe. maybe 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 probably not but maybe